This is Dr. Todd from Outdoor Family Chiropractic, and I just wanted to discuss three tests you can do at home to determine, or at least get a good idea of the source of your neck pain. So first of all, maybe understand a little bit about the complexity of your spine. Your spine should have three curves in it. Of course, the only way you're gonna know if those are proper is through x-ray analysis. But to understand that there are multiple joints in your neck, okay? There are six joints per vertebrae. You've got blood vessels running through the vertebrae. You've got nerves exiting. You've got a spinal cord out the back. You've got muscles, ligaments. There's a whole complexity of anatomy going on all at the same time. So we're not gonna figure out everything at home, but at least you can get a good idea of, is it something that you can handle simply yourself with some home therapies, or do you really need to seek the consultation of a good chiropractor or another healthcare professional? So let's just kind of go through these very simply. The first one just says palpation, which is the fancy way of saying feeling. So you're gonna feel the soft tissues around your neck, your upper shoulders, and the base of your skull. And what you're looking for is, is there tenderness or irritation in the muscle itself? So you might just start in the upper back, kind of this through area here, your traps. Very commonly, if there's a neck issue, you'll have discomfort or tightness into the upper shoulders, upper back. So you're just gonna feel through and feel if there's taut and tender fibers. And then you're gonna work your way up through the back of the neck. And then you can even do the sides of the neck. That's your SCMs. And you're just feeling through those muscles. Are they tight? Are they taut? Are there tender fibers, okay? And then you really wanna get and feel underneath the base of the skull. Those are called your suboccipitals, okay? And those are very commonly taut and tender, usually because of faulty postural habits, which we'll talk about in another video, okay? So if you're feeling through and you feel a lot of muscle tension, and maybe you feel like you just carry your stress there, maybe you just need a massage. If you have a lovely spouse or partner to help you with that, or better yet, go to a professional masseuse who does some deep tissue work, have them strip that out. So if you're doing that or have done that, and you're still having neck issues, chances are it's not just a simple muscle problem. It might be a bit more complicated. So the next test is simply range of motion. A healthy spine and healthy joints, you're gonna have full range of motion. So very simply, you're gonna flex forward, okay? You shouldn't be feeling a bunch of tightness or pain. You're gonna extend back, and you really should be able to go a fair way back. So you're looking up at the ceiling. Again, there shouldn't be pain or tension when you're doing that. Then you're gonna do simple ear to shoulder. A lot of folks have trouble with that one, all right? You might feel a little stretch and that's okay, but again, you shouldn't have pain or tenderness. You should get nice fluid motion. And then you're gonna go left rotation, just looking over the shoulder, right rotation, and you should get a full range of motion. Again, you shouldn't be having pain or discomfort when you do these. If you're noticing restriction in motion or pain with motion, chances are you've got joint restrictions or joint issues. You could have misalignment, degeneration, usually they come hand in hand, in which case you're gonna to wanna to get that more professionally evaluated, okay? Now the next one we're gonna look at is called Valsalva and decompression. So now we're kinda of looking for, do you actually have a disc issue or potentially nerve irritation? So Valsalva is really simple. You're gonna take a breath in and bear down. Like you're holding your breath, and just bear down. Just do it for a couple few seconds. If you feel pain elicited anywhere along your spine, really that's an indication that you have what's known as a space occupying lesion or a disc bulge or disc injury, okay? So if you do that, you might actually feel it in your lower back, which means you might have a lower back disc issue. Obviously, if you're feeling it up in the neck, um, we're thinking you might have a disc issue in the neck, which needs to be further evaluated. If you're getting pain or numbness or tingling down into your arms or fingers, that's called radiculopathy or a form of neuropathy. So again, that might mean you've got nerve irritation as those nerves are exiting the joints and going down into your extremity. That's a more significant situation. Usually things have been a bit more progressed then and they really need uh, some professional attention. So if you have a positive Valsalva test, the other thing you can do the opposite is really to decompress. So you'd simply cup underneath your jaw and the base of your skull, kind of wrap your fingers around and just gently lift up. So you're just kind of taking the weight of your head off your neck. If you feel relief of pain or relief of symptoms coming down in your arms or hands, again, chances are you've got a deeper issue in your joints or discs irritating the nerve. 
So that'd be a good start. If you've had long-standing chronic issues and they're not going away, I would really encourage you to get a proper evaluation at a great chiropractor. If you're not local, we'll help you find one. I'm Dr. Todd, Mountain Door Family Chiropractic. Thanks for watching.